Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today we're just having some chicken wings, egg rolls, and I have some pot stickers. I'll show you like the chicken wings. Um, I also found some kind of episode on, you, not YouTube, on Netflix called I'm, I, I'm Back With My Ex or something like that. I think that's the name of it. Um, let me just make sure. I think it's called I'm Back With My Ex. Um, no, it's called Back With The X. So, that's what I'm watching. Um, give me one second. Yeah. Anyway, okay. Um, But anyway, so I'm about to try to get started. I need my other um my other tripod, but I'm gonna have to do make this work. But um yeah, if you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. Would love to have you a part of the family. Um, also, make sure that you like this video, comment, um, and yeah. So I'm gonna try to watch this, talk to y'all. I'm trying to do two videos a week, um, so y'all bear with me. Um, sometimes it's hard with my schedule, but um, yeah. So. This is, oh, hot, still hot, burning. Um, but yeah. I don't know what made me put on a white shirt, but I did. So, sorry. Hopefully I don't. Mess my shirt up. Um. So everything is good with my, um, my accepted offer. That worked out really, really well. I think the last video I recorded, I believe it was on Sunday. Um, so everything is good. I scanned the package. I just got to um, send it to the title company, the seller, and then my broker. Um, they waived the inspection contingency. Um, so that's good. That's some kind of new Mountain Dew I've seen. It's called Mountain Dew Baja Gold, if you haven't had it. Um... Basically, Mountain Dew with a splash of pineapple. It's actually pretty good. Hi. But. Say back with the ex. I don't think I have any ex that I would want to get back with. Like, so I don't know what this. Um, I 
what this show is about. But I guess we will see. Um, I'm going to try. Okay. I didn't cook these right, but they, um, they're okay. Give me one second. I'll be right back. Sorry. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I just had to get something situated. So... So yeah, like I guess this movie is in reference to, or this show is in reference to, I guess people hooking back up with with their um, their exes. I'm gonna look. I'm gonna see what it's about and see. Um, uh, yeah. I will, um, do a Q&A about real estate or whatever you guys want to know. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm just like, Lord, Lord. <laughs> what would be the reason that you would consider giving your your ex another chance I'm just curious I'm just curious Um,
She said Eric was the love of her life. She's willing to give him another chance. She's hoping he's matured. Mm. She's like, listen, he better have changed. If he didn't change, adios, amigos. She's like, I'm signing out. That's how it be though sometimes. Sometimes guys don't mature as fast as women. So. He's like ooh la la. I hate when I get food caught in my um in my teeth. I hate that. Mountain Dew Pineapple. Gold, Baja Gold is actually pretty good. Pretty good. Even though I need to stop drinking so much soda. But yeah, it's pretty good. So this is um, week two of Summerfest. 
um, tomorrow. Um, the concerts go from what time? Um, from I think the first one might be around 10 or noon or something, something like that. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, and then um, it Summerfest closes at midnight. So it'll go from whatever time the first show is. And then the last one usually is about 10 o'clock. And then it's over at like midnight. Yep. Um, So tell me if you ever broke up with your ex and decide to give them a second chance. And tell me why you decided to give them a second chance. I'm just kind of curious. <clears throat> it's been years and y'all were young or something. That's kind of understandable. Because sometimes, you know, when people are young, they just don't have their priorities together. And then sometimes, you know, when they're young, they they not ready to they ain't really ready to settle down, but but for some reason they don't want to tell nobody. Piece of pork, fair lot, ma. So, I don't know what this sauce tastes like. I want to try it because um, it came with the pot stickers. So I'm going to try it and see what it tastes like. Hopefully it's not bad. So I um, was talking to a lady, I guess she's like of Asian descent, and she was telling me about a lot of people, you know, think that all Asians eat 
you know, cats and dogs and stuff. And she said, truth of the matter, okay, truth of the matter is, um, she said some Asians do actually eat, um, like cats and dogs or whatever. Mm. I don't know I like that sauce. Um, but she said that a Asia has some parts of it that is very, very poor. So, that's why they, you know, a lot of them, I guess, do actually, some, some of them do actually eat that depending on where they live or what part of Asia that they're from. So I was kind of surprised to hear that. Like, wow. Um, but it's hard to say because, um, you know, someplace, some, some places people in the U.S. don't really know how it is. Just like Africa. Like, you would think the whole Africa was poor. Like, everybody over there is poor. But that's actually not the truth. Um, some people, parts of Africa, some parts of Africa actually is very rich. You know what I mean? But they only show on TV... All these people that, um, you know, oh, for five dollars, you know, for five dollars a day or, you know, whatever that can feed, you know, X amount of time or whatever. And it's just like, <clears throat> but if that's all that they show, then obviously you're going to think that the whole country is poor. But actually, that's not even true. And I think that's so unfair to make people think, you know, that the whole Africa is poor. And the parts that do have money, why can't they help the people that's there? Because, I mean, nothing against anybody that, you know, that helps out or whatever. But the truth of the matter is... There's parts of people that live in the U.S. that don't have anything to eat. That's barely getting, barely getting by. That are living in shelters. Some of them ain't even living in shelters. Some of them live on the street. So, I mean... I don't know. Um, but they definitely make you think that the whole, the whole entire continent of Africa is poor. That, like, everybody over there is poor. That they, they live in tents and all kind of stuff, which is not, obviously, it's not true. Not everybody. I just think that they should show other parts. So people, you know, don't be thinking that. Unless the whole goal is to make people think that in. Like, oh... We need to give them some money because cause everybody in Africa are living like this. Or we need to send food or whatever. But just my opinion. 
not trying to offend anybody i'm just i'm just saying that it makes it feel like seem like like you know that everybody over there like is poor that they don't have money But um, I have a long weekend ahead. I probably will. Record another video. I will try to record another video. This Sunday. Saturday or Sunday. It might be in my car depending on. What I got going on. But. I'll definitely try to record another video. Mm. Sometime this weekend. So yeah. But um. I definitely hope um hope everybody enjoyed this video. Um if you can remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will talk to you all soon. Enjoy the rest of your night and hope you have a good weekend. Bye guys.